of Fall's Happening and sorry I haven't vlogged in what feels like forever. But I promise to start vlogging more. Um, the reason for my absence on this channel is because I was busy dealing with personal issues and school and just, it was, yeah, I needed a little bit of break for a while. But anyway, I am back, so I'm going to start doing more videos every day, like I try to. So my new resolution this year is to start vlogging more, and that's what I'm going to try and do. More exciting videos for you guys. So anyway, for this video, I thought I would do the top five of my favorite things that happened in 2015 in my life. So going in at number five would have to be graduating high school. I had my ups and my downs in high school. Like I sh struggled a lot in high school. I hated high school. I dealt with depression when I was in high school. It was awful. I hate high school. I'm glad I don't have or I have to go back ever again. I'm like so thankful. So. And that would be number five for me was graduating high school. Going in at number four would have to be um, starting college for the very first time, meeting new people, finding that college is a little bit difficult for me at the moment. I struggled a lot. I thought the program I was going to go into was I was going to push through and make it for the two years that it runs. But unfortunately, I ended up quitting the program I was in because I ended up dropping two classes out of six and then I had four left over so it was just a big hot mess so I never went back into that program ever again because I'm not gonna I'm not I'm just gonna say the coordinator does not know how to run a program and that's all I'm gonna say um anyway moving on from that going in at number three would have to be creating this YouTube channel that I did last year was just, I didn't know we would already have 11 subscribers. It just blows my mind. Thank you guys so much for just watching these videos and give them thumbs up. That just, it just makes my day to see that. Um, going in at number two would also be creating our Instagram. If you haven't followed our Instagram, I'll leave it down below in the description box below for you guys to go follow us. I was creating that because I had an old Instagram account where I didn't... L I had an old One Direction Vine account. I didn't really... like. I'm not saying that I didn't like it. I loved it. But it was just getting like to the point where I... There was a reason behind it why I deleted it because I didn't have the time and I was too busy and I was too depressed. So I ended up creating the one that we have now, which is One Direction So and Ape. Again, I'll leave our Instagram link down below for you guys to give us a follow. Um, the reason why I deleted my old One Direction band account was because, like I said, I didn't have time for it. And plus, I got picked on on it. So this is all a little story time. Story time! So, um... As you guys know, we all know who Larry Stylinson is. So, um, I was on my old fan account, and there was this Larry Stylinson account. This was before Instagram, like, verified celebrities' accounts. So, I thought this Larry Stylinson account was actually Louie and Harry from One Direction. I thought they were running the account, the two of them running the account together. So... Um, I was dealing with a lot of stuff because my friends were picking on me and bullying me at school. And this is when I was still in high school. And I didn't have anyone else to turn to. So I turned to this Larry Stylinson account that I just told you guys. And I literally thought it was Louie and Harry. And I thought they were taking the time out of their busy schedule to talk to me and help me with my problems. And give me some advice. Be there for me. And I just, I felt like, wow, I felt like my two, I feel like two heroes that are in my band besides the other members, because all the members of One Direction are my heroes. So I thought Harry and Louie, who are also my heroes, like I said, the rest of the boys are also my heroes as well. I thought, wow, two of my heroes are actually going to take the time and talk to me. So they're giving me advice and how to deal with my friends. And I felt like, wow. This is so cool. I'm actually talking to Louie and Harry from One Direction. 
And after a while, I went on for a little while, and then I ended up telling my friends at school, hey, I'm talking to Harry Styles from One Direction. Harry so happens to be my absolute favorite member. So I kept telling all my friends, oh, I'm talking to Harry Styles. This is awesome. This is amazing. Maybe I can meet him one day and we can, like, be friends instead of online. But in real life, that would be pretty cool. And my one friend, I'm not friends with her anymore. I'm not going to say her name. But she was being very rude about it. And she told me, why would Harry Styles ever talk to you? And I thought, wow, you're being kind of rude because he's actually talking to me. He'd rather talk to me than talk to you. Because my friend at the time wasn't a very nice person. Like, she's still not a very nice person. And she picks on a lot of people. So I feel kind of bad for her. Like, because she has, like, a lot going on in her life. But that gives you no reason to make others feel bad. But anyway, um, that was her comment was, um, why would Harry Styles have talked to you? And I felt more, even more down. My depression went down. My confidence boost went down by a lot. And one day I go on Instagram and I find out that the, that the account that was, that I th who I thought was Louie and Harry was actually fake. I didn't know that. I thought, what the heck? Like, wow, way to make someone feel special by doing that. So basically this account was pretending to be Louie and Harry. And I got so upset when I found it. It was fake. I'm like, wow, I guess my fr so-called friend is right. I guess Louie and Harry would never talk to me anyway. And I just, my confidence went from... Being so high, being so pumped into thinking that Louie and Harry were giving me actual advice and how to deal with my bullies and saying that they're there for me to find out that the account was fake and I guess, yeah, so that kind of hurt a little bit and then after that happened, I didn't, I got rid of my account because I couldn't take care of it anymore so I ended up deleting it and then after that I thought I regret deleting my account but I kind of want to start over and make a new fresh start so I made a brand new account which is the account that me and Adacia and Grace have who they are who are great if you don't know who Grace and Adacia is they are my two best friends and they are also my corners of my One Direction friend account which we always link it down below which is One Direction 7 8 we all run it they are my corners. They are the best corners I could have ever asked for. And yeah, and, and just I'm a very proud owner. So that's where I guess the like I said the account got my the account that I run now with Grace and Dacia was born. So and that's how it all came. So that's one of the things I'm glad is I made that account, I met them. And going in at, so I guess that was me number two, I guess. And then number one was meeting Grace and Adacia, getting to, like, Skype with them and talk to them. I feel like I, feel like I belong, finally, with a group of friends that actually have, share the same interests as me. And it's just so much fun to talk to them because they are so nice and I hope to meet them one day because... We would have a lot of fun listening to One Direction all day. And if you haven't heard, I've been, I'm have been i playing a fetus album, guys. Hashtag fetus. I'm playing the Up All Night album. And if you haven't heard, it's one thing playing. So that's it for my top five uh, countdowns. Um, I don't know how. I'm going to make this video a little bit longer. Because I, I just, again, I just want to apologize to you guys that I haven't been vlogging that much. Like I said, I'm going to try and vlog more for you guys because that's what I promised and this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to stick to my promise and yeah. So like I said, if you haven't followed us on our Instagram, I will leave that down below and another thing I want to talk to you guys about is the question of the day like I always do. So today's question of the day is... What do you think about One Direction going on their break this year, 2016? What are you guys' thoughts, opinions about this? Leave your opinion 
down below and let me know what you think about One Direction going on a break this year. And if you guys haven't heard, One Direction, yes, is going on a break this year. And they'll be back again next year. So I'm crossing my fingers I might get to see One Direction for the first time because I haven't seen One Direction yet. My first concert, actually, my first concert was actually the Jonas Brothers. I saw the Jonas Brothers back in 2008. Sorry, 2009. What? What is, I'm getting my years mixed up. So it was July 8th to July 9th that I saw the Jonas Brothers. And it was, it actually was my very first concert and is still my only first concert I ever went to. Because at my concert they had a band called Honor Society who I never heard before but they were actually pretty good. And then also at my concert I saw Jordan Sparks. Let me tell you, Jordan Sparks sounds a lot better than the radio. Because when you hear Jordan Sparks on the radio you think, oh that's how she's going to probably sound when you see her in concert. She doesn't, she sounds a lot different from the radio and I tell you... In my opinion, and from my experience, seeing her in concert with the Jonas Brothers was money well spent because she sounds a lot better than the radio, and she has a beautiful voice, and I love her, and she's awesome. And if you guys haven't seen Zane's right there, I got a One Direction calendar. I tried looking for one with just the four of them, but then... I saw the four calendar, like the pictures from the album four. So I ended up getting the four calendar. And of course, Zane is January because his birthday was yesterday. And a shout out to Zane. Happy birthday, Zane. I hope you had a great birthday with your family, friends, and all the people that you wanted to celebrate it with. Um, so. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it was just me ranting on, but I promise tomorrow's video will be awesome. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to see new videos. And did you guys know it's free to subscribe? So my present to you guys is to subscribe because it's free. So, and like I said, as always, if you haven't followed us on our Instagram, go give us a follow. I'll leave that down below. And I hope you guys have a good afternoon, day, morning, or night, or whenever you are watching this. And from my Zane, from Zane right there, I hope you guys have a great like I said, afternoon, day, or night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay awesome, you guys. And let's see if we can get this video to maybe five thumbs ups, maybe. Can we try and maybe do that? Anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Morning, noon, or night. 